Good evening, World Wide Web. Welcome back to my stock channel. Another video update on uh, National Cinemedia and AMC Enterprises um, and Regal Cinemas. Wow, this just looks like some kind of wife swapping, cousin swapping nightmare. Um, well, let me try to explain it to everybody. Uh, let me do my best. Um, National Cinemedia does the commercials before the movies. National Cinemedia's number one client is Regal Cinemas. Regal Cinemas is the number one competitor of AMC. So AMC told the world a month ago that they didn't own any shares at all in Cinemedia. I guess they lied or they just bought a bunch. Then they bought 9% and they announced that they had 9% of them and then today they said, we have more than 9%, which doesn't tell anyone how many they have. Uh, so this thing's spiraling out of control. People are thinking they're being bought out by AMC, um, perhaps to steal the advertisers from Regal uh, to get the money that, uh, I don't know. I mean, don't they have their own? I, I, I've been to the theater before. They play commercials before the movie starts. So you'd think they'd have their own thing going uh, by now um, where they could charge the advertiser, but apparently not. So National Cinemedia has decided to go into bankruptcy and have their billion dollars in debt turned into equity. And I think that means a stock dilution. Um of a billion dollars, which doesn't make any sense because the market cap of this company is currently $37 million. So I don't know what they really mean by that. They're going to turn their debt into equity through bankruptcy. I think that means that either all the stockholders get squashed or it's some kind of incredible dilution. I, I don't know what they're going to do. Maybe they're going to sell bonds or something. I have no idea, but that's their plan is to leave bankruptcy uh, debt free and have it somehow be melted. I didn't talk about the stock going away, so I'm, I'm thinking some kind of dilution is going to happen here. Uh, what's this company worth? Uh, well, in its heyday, they were bringing in uh, 40 million in profit, 50 million in profit uh, back before COVID. So is it worth $44 million? Probably if that's the company that they are and if they still have all these advertisers. If they didn't get abandoned by everybody, it looks like they got abandoned by everybody in these two years. And I don't know if those people are going to come back or not. Uh, Cinemedia has already defaulted on a couple of bills that forced them into bankruptcy. Uh, they're going to turn their debt into equity and come out debt-free on the other end, and I have a feeling that means uh, kissing goodbye stockholders. That's usually how that works. Uh, why is this thing spiking up? I guess they think that AMC or somebody is interested in paying off their billion dollars of debt. The company is not worth a billion dollars worth of debt. You wouldn't want to take this thing over if you had to. Um, I think we're watching rumors and gossip. Uh, for the most part, I don't think AMC is interested in this thing. There are so many conflicts. Um, and, and Regal, apparently, uh, they mentioned that they might be in bankruptcy. I think they might be, or just they're leaving it right now. I'm going to check on their stock in a minute, see if it's still even online. But, um, National Cinemedia is a Regal commercial player. And they're trying to steal the Regal commercial player from Regal. Or they're not stealing anything because this thing comes with a pile of debt. You can't just buy this company. Um, here's the debt. Here's the balance sheet that comes with it. $1.2 billion for the debt. Now let's see if we want to add that to the debt of AMC. Uh, AMC's debt. Whoa, we went right past it. Sorry, everybody. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. AMC's debt is already, I'm sure, sizable enough, or they don't need more of it. 
but let's see how much more they could possibly stand. They're already upside down on debt. They have $11.76 billion in debt. They have almost $3 billion more debt than they have um, assets. Why in the world would they want to go tack another billion onto that and buy a company that the entire stock value of it's worth less than $40 million? Just makes absolutely no sense. Uh, you wouldn't buy this company for $5. AMC would not buy this piece of garbage for $5. Needless to say, $40 million. Needless to say, $100 million. Uh, my spidey sense says you're going to see this whole thing crumble within a couple of days as people found out they were, uh, they were hoaxed along. It hit $0.60 cents today, $0.63. Cents. I saw it there. I was like, oh, my God. And I, I was really mad I missed the boat. We did a video when it was at $0.20, cents, but I could have we could have gotten it at 15 actually the day before. But nobody knew all this was happening. But yesterday at $0.20, cents, it was probably a pretty good call. And when you looked at the market value of the company only being worth $20 million, and you look at their last couple of good years, you could see how it might be a good addition of revenue to AMC. But the debt comes with it. And if you're going to clear the debt out with a bankruptcy, I don't think the stockholder lives. And there's no way to dilute it into that. Um, so I see the stockholder as, as being dead somehow. And maybe they're just going to charge off all of their debt and do a full-blown bankruptcy. And I don't know how they're going to come out on the other end with anything. Um, yeah. So I don't know. You tell me in the comments below. Where do, where does something like this, where does something like this end? Uh, they're pretty much a non-functional thing. Maybe their commercials are still playing at Regal Cinemas. Um, what are their assets? What what could the assets possibly be for a company that runs commercials before the movie? Are their assets the video that they made of the commercials? Are they call it, I mean, what, what is an asset in this case? And then what are the liabilities? Why do they have to ring up $1.20 billion in liabilities to run these little commercials before a movie? You think this would be done on somebody's laptop? You know, real professional-like, you could throw a few million at it, but not a billion. This is just stupid. Uh, you could recreate this company probably and supply AMC with much better commercials and much better clients for probably a couple of million dollars. Just start up a little side division for yourself. You don't need to take on a billion dollars of debt to do it. So for that, I declare this is stupid. You're going to see the stock at 10 cents within a couple of days, and then you're going to see it go into bankruptcy and then vanish. National Cinemedia, don't get all excited. The debt comes with it, and if the debt doesn't come with it, your stock's getting erased. Uh, just a hunch. And if they're going to turn it into equity, I think that means that they're going to destroy it. And there's no way to dilute that anyhow, unless they make it one. Well, they, it's just impossible. It's a billion, it's $1.2 billion. The company has a market cap of $37 million. So yeah, you're not uh, diluting anything. And no one's going to buy that crap. Uh, not when you have like no revenue anymore. So, yeah, I think we're reading a lot of hokum. It's uh, Chapter 11 Bankruptcy. It's not the worst one, uh, but it's like the second worst one. It's the one where you come out on the other side. Uh, let's see if I can find the exact wording for you. It's just your court in Southern District, Texas, where the biggest shareholders and customers, Regal's parent, Cineworld, has just presented a restructuring plan to emerge from bankruptcy itself. So Regal, uh, is, their parent is Cineworld. Cineworld filed in September in hopes for approval in late May. National Cinemedia's, I wonder if there's a relationship here, uh, proceedings should go faster if filed with a comprehensive restructuring agreement already in hand, supported by secured lenders, that it says provides a clear roadmap to quickly emerge without disrupting its operations or customer relationships. 
So maybe they think they've, I guess that says they got new lenders. Somebody's going to loan them all that money. Are they psycho? It probably maybe goes with a buyout. Maybe, maybe that's the only way they get the money. Um, the move is not a shock. The company recently missed and then extended several times the grace period on an interest payment originally due in mid-February amid a technical default already with big rating agencies and prompting speculation about a possible chapter chapter 11 or an out-of-court restructuring. I don't know. If they found lenders, I guess it's going to stick around. Uh, but it still comes with the debt. Do you want it? Do you want to pay for, you know one point four trillion, four billion dollars? You want to pay uh, forty million for the company, and it come it comes with the extra bonus of one point two billion in debt. I don't know. In forty years, it might pay for itself. Yeah, you're better off just doing what you do already for your commercials. I think you're good. I think you can leave the regal people alone. And you're not going to hurt them. If anything, they're going to come up with doing it themselves and save a shit ton of money. Uh, National Cinemedia, back to 15 cents almost immediately. You can just write this one off your list. I'm going to go ahead and call that right now. Uh, don't waste your time or your money on it. If you got lucky enough to buy it at 20 cents and get it to here, get out first thing tomorrow morning. This thing's probably going to be hitting skid row. And you know what it might get stupid for a couple of days but you got to look at the reality of this deal and say would you do it and i would say the answer would be a resounding no so uh national cinemedia no amc is not going to touch them with a 10-foot pole i don't think they even own any i think that was just make believe i don't think that they would be that stupid uh and they're poaching on another company's advertiser that's just like asking for regal to do it back to them um yeah not not very ethical either <laughs> probably maybe it was a big power play but it wasn't a hostile takeover as i as i first thought but it just looks like such a bad purchasing idea it couldn't have a price it's a, there's no way even if they got the lenders they wouldn't want to carry the debt so it's not happening. Uh, National Cinemedia and AMC Entertainment. Um, that's it for the video. Have a wonderful evening. Uh, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. We'll do more updates on AMC. Uh, hopefully they're going to get some buyout offers. And it looks like their company is fixing itself. They're back to their, uh, almost back to their pre-COVID levels of revenue, which I'm hoping will translate into pre-COVID levels of profit. So we're looking forward to that in the near future. AMC looks like they have a shot now. And I think they're heavily shorted too. So there's going to be some action there as well. Uh, thank you for watching the video. Have a great night. See you all next time.